good Thursday morning. A look at our Devil's Lake Home of Akami Skycam shows some angry looking clouds there on the horizon, but uh, beautiful clouds this morning as well. You can see some rain shafts there on the horizon, but we are watching this area very carefully as there is that severe thunderstorm warning going for Towner, Cavalier, and Ramsey counties for the next 30 minutes or so. Things outside of that warning, of course, are pretty quiet, but we're watching that area, of course, right along the uh, county line there, the, uh, the Towner County, Cavalier County line, and it looks like that warning may have been canceled. Let me get the latest information on that because I do want to get that uh, information uh, relayed to you accurately. Yes, they have canceled that severe thunderstorm warning just about one minute ago. So just before I showed you the sky cam, they canceled that warning. So this is now just a strong storm, no longer severe there, heading toward the Edmore area, but still some heavy rainfall with this one and still could be some gusty winds there, even though that storm is no longer severe. So they canceled that warning about 30 minutes early for that neck of the woods. And you can see there's heavy rainfall extending all the way down toward the Devil's Lake area from Edmore, just south of Langdon, heading toward Park River as well. So this is where we're seeing the most activity at this point, but as we see temperatures in that area, only in the upper 60s, so still fairly cool at this point there in the Devil's Lake area, but Thief River Falls, 76 degrees right now, 65 right now in Fargo, but the dew point in Fargo, 64 degrees. So when you get that dew point and that air temperature really close together, that's when you can really feel that humidity in the air, and so that's what we have right now in the metro, even up toward the north, though, dew points in the 50s and 60s, so still muggy up there in the northern valley as well. By lunchtime, we can still, still see a few of those uh, showers or storms hanging on in our Minnesota neighborhoods. But sunshine does like to join pretty much the rest of us with that south wind helping to warm temperatures by lunchtime, 70s and 80s, those temperatures at noon. Then by 3 o'clock, could see some low 90s work into the map, into the uh, temperature map there by 3 o'clock already. And still could be a few straggling uh, showers and storms in Minnesota, but I do expect those to be more isolated in nature by the time we head toward the early afternoon hours and then we can see there's the good chance of 90s in the southern valley even toward devil's lake toward ellendale perhaps seeing those low 90s as well with plenty of clear sky for us by the five o'clock hour by eight o'clock still seeing mild temperatures 70s and 80s still by an eight o'clock tonight and 10 o'clock still seeing 70s so we're going to be mild we'll be humid again overnight tonight and we'll have some more chances of showers and storms late overnight into tomorrow morning as well 2 30 a.m tomorrow Watching out of Bismarck, some storms, some moisture pushing in, and those do look to uh, approach our western neighborhoods there by about 5 o'clock in the morning. So, of course, we'll watch that uh, very carefully tomorrow morning as well. Here's our photo of the day. A beautiful, beautiful cumulonimbus cloud at morning time from the War Road area. Thanks, Linda, for uploading that beautiful picture of that cloud. And then for tomorrow, we're up around 90 again. A few of those storms that we're talking about tomorrow could be on the strong to possibly severe side, but we do look to cool down a little bit into the weekend. Looking at low to mid 80s both Saturday and Sunday with still a chance of a few spotty showers and storms here or there. But Jordan, the good news is we look to have plenty of dry time for the weekend and say plenty of dry time moving into early next week as well. All right. I'd like to hear that for the weekend. Thank you, Nathan.